Welcome to WebBikeWorld.com. This is a quick look at a few of the features of the new Cardo Scala Rider G9 Motorcycle Intercom Communication System. For the full review, more photos, and all the details, please visit WebBikeWorld.com. The Scala Rider G9 is one of the most anticipated motorcycle intercom systems of 2012, and it's finally here. We previewed the G9 at the 2011 ICMA show from Milan, Italy back in November of last year, and followed that up with a report from the Cardo Wireless Research and Development Center in Tel Aviv, Israel, just after the show. The G9 is loaded with features, and it's supported by a new online Cardo community, which allows G9 owners to set and change features, download firmware updates, connect with other G9 owners, and more. The G9 is compatible with the G4 and the Schuberth SRC intercom systems, which are made by Cardo for Schuberth. So let's take a look at just a few of the basic features of the new G9 intercom. The G9 helmet mounting system is similar to the mount used on the Scala Rider G4 intercom. This is the power set dual pair and each intercom module slides into the receiver for a solid fit. The G9 also has the flip up antenna from the G4 which increases the range to approximately 1.6 kilometers or 1 mile. In the power set box are two cloth bags to store the intercom modules two USB wall outlet chargers and two USB cables, two plastic bags with extra microphone wind socks and an alcohol prep kit, each intercom comes with a boom mic and they include an interchangeable wired mic, stick-on helmet mounts for helmets that won't fit the standard clamp mount, two coiled accessory outlet wires for connecting non-Bluetooth devices, and of course the user guide which is printed in five languages. You really should give the manual a careful read as you work your way through the many features of the G9, but one nice thing about modern motorcycle intercom systems is that many of the features and button pushes have become standard, so it's not that difficult to figure it all out. Let's take a closer look at the intercom module. It has six buttons, three on top and three on the side, which are placed at different heights and separated to make them easy to find when wearing gloves. New G9 owners should study page 4, which has the only description of each button. Memorize the button names and you'll find it a lot easier to work through the rest of the owner's manual, which refers to the buttons back on page 4. Here's the volume up and forward button, the mobile phone button in the center, the volume down and reverse button in the rear. On the front is the channel A and channel B button, and the voice command button in the center. Channel B is also the FM radio button, and channel A controls an MP3 player if connected. To turn on the units, press and hold the mobile phone button in the center. If you buy the power set dual pack, the intercoms are paired at the factory, so all you have to do is turn them on and fire up an intercom session and start talking. I'm starting the intercom on your left, then the intercom on your right. I had my mobile phone on already, and it was paired, so you can hear the voice notification system letting me know that the phone is already paired. Then it lets me know that the intercoms are paired and ready to go also. Rider A connected. The intercoms can be given names by using the Cardo online community. Which one? Burn 2. Burn 2. Which one? Rick 1. The intercom names are used in a group setting. Your G9 buddies can actually call you by selecting your name from a buddy list. If you meet up with a G9 owner on the road, you can use the neat flash pairing function to pair the intercoms. Bump the two intercoms together and hold them next to each other. The lights will flash purple and you're paired. The G9 also has a click to link feature which you can activate, which will notify you whenever another G9 owner is within range and you can instantly chat on a private channel. The G9 helmet mount is pretty robust, although it's a bit large and its L shape might not fit on every helmet. The stick-on mount also has the L shape. Vox and many other features can either be set online or by pressing button sequences. As an example, here the Vox is turned off with the red lights flashing and then turned back on. We had no problems at all quickly pairing the G9 with other Bluetooth devices. Here's an old LG basic cell phone as an example. Press and hold the mobile phone button on the G9 to initiate the pairing mode, then place the cell phone in search mode and the two pair up very quickly. The G9 has A2DP stereo, GPS, and MP3 support, 
automatic gain control, vox, and voice command operations. Too much to show you all here, so be sure to read the full webbikeworld.com review. Here's the FM radio feature. Reception will vary, but stations can be set or automatically searched as you move in and out of range. So that's a quick look at just a few of the features of the new Cardo Scalar Rider G9. For the full review, more photos, and all the details, please visit webbikeworld.com. Thanks for watching.